Well, good afternoon, everyone. We're here again. We're at the museum. And it's cold. I'm cold. I'm freezing today. I'm, I'm shivering. I didn't bring a warm enough coat. It was warm the last few days and something yes. suddenly happened. And actually, I could tell it was happening because I and uh, our daughter-in-law and daughter, we went riding bikes, bicycles, and the wind was like 23 to 30 mile an hour and I'm trying to ride against it. It was awful. Okay, so, all right, that's all my, you know, I blabber on for a couple of minutes here uh, as people get notification uh, that we are doing a live program, which we are from the zoo, and it's showing up now uh, on my Facebook here. So I'm going to follow along. So kids, are, wow, we've got a lot of people on already. Oh, we've only just started. We are going, you're in for a treat. I mean, we are going to see... Uh, Michelangelo, or whatever his name, what's, what's her name? Ella. Ella, Ella. We're <laughs> going to see Ella paint. Okay, you want to watch a donkey, donkey paint. We're going to do that. I'm going to get yes. Leanne to explain who this yep. is. This is Ella the donkey. Yes. And you can ask your questions about donkeys, like, are they really horses? Are they really horses? They're the horse kind. They're the horse kind. Horse kind. So they're not horses, but they're in the horse they're kind. They're not horses, but they're horse kind. Yes. But that means they're a horse if they're the horse kind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes <and> okay. No. <laughs> it's a donkey and the horse kind. Yes. So donkeys uh, and horses are both part of the equine or the horse kind. So Noah wouldn't have taken two little donkeys like Ella on Ark. On the Ark, he would have taken two of the horse or the equine kind onto the Ark. So... You're telling me that you train these or, or yes. train them to paint? or Yes. So Ella here is uh, trained to paint. Um, so I'll just kind of show you how we develop this behavior. So Ella here loves to play with things, um, enrichment items in her enclosure. So one day she picked up just a brush that was in there um, and started brushing the ground with it. And I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder if I could train her to hold a paintbrush. So sure, sure enough, grab Sure enough, Ella will hold a paintbrush. Um, and then from here, off, good. So she, Ella's gonna get a quick treat. Um, so after we taught her how to grab onto the paintbrush, then we had to kind of teach her, hey, what do we want you to paint? So then we uh, moved her over. She's got this nice little um, okay, platform. So, she so Matt, Matt's got hold of her. Matt's, so, uh, you're one of the supervisors here at yes, the sir. Animal Touch. Encounter, okay. Good. And she, we taught her how to touch um, something with the paintbrush. And so then once we kind of got this behavior established, then we moved on to actually using paint. Um, Ella is a little bit of a messy painter, so we'll see how this goes today. So okay, I've got... So I, I think I'll keep out of the way here. Yes, I don't want Ella keep painting me. Okay. So um, here at the zoo, we use just some non-toxic finger paint, washable paint with our animals. So if they get it on them, it's perfectly okay for them. It won't hurt them at all. Ella here is getting a little bit impatient. So do we do this for the guests too? So when they're here, they yes. sometimes see this? Grab. So this is something Grab. you can see when you're here at the... Good. Yeah, good girl. Good. Well, now she wants to eat it. Now she wants to eat it. There we go. So um, we do painting we sessions with Ella, usually during the summer, a couple times a week. We'll we'll bring her out and have her do some painting. And then we always like to let the kids kind of select colors, what color they would like Ella to paint with. Um, and then if, if you're really lucky, you'll actually get to take an Ella painting home with you. And sometimes she does also slobber on them. So you get a little bit extra, you we, get a little bit extra we treats. Should, we, should, we should actually um, auction these off. <laughs> um, animal painting is actually very popular in a lot of um, different zoological facilities. People um, do sell animal artwork. Somebody, I, somebody said she looks like she likes to make hoof prints too. Yes, she does. Grab. So sometimes we've oh, also trained her nice. to actually put her feet up here on this platform as well. Well, I've, se I've seen painting is not as good as that in some of these modern <laughs> art galleries. Yes. So she... So Ella, Ella does modern art. Ella does modern art. Ella is our best painter here. Um, we have some, some of the other animals we've trained to paint as well, but Ella is definitely our star painter. So the she's girl. the star. She's Are the we star. gonna do a different color? Yes. What color okay. do you wanna do, Ken? Oh, okay, how about, a, how about red? That should show up Okay, well. yeah, that'll show up So well. Evan, you know I'm starting to recognize some of the kids' names on here now? <laughs> yeah. And we've been doing these every day. 
and I'm recognizing some of them, but Evan, age 12, said, what is a donkey's average weight? Okay, so miniature donkeys like Ella here can weigh anywhere from 200 to 400 pounds. Um, grab. I just looked up Ella's weight. Um, at her last weigh-in, she was 339 pounds. Um, so she's a little bit on the larger side for a miniature donkey, um, and she is pretty much constantly on a diet. Um, donkeys are, um, are great animals because they can survive on very little um, grass and feed. Um, but unfortunately, that means in uh, a zoological setting like this, we have to be very careful how much Ella eats because she can pack on the pounds quite quickly. So, Easy Wayne, who's on here from Living Waters, he's Ray Comfort's son-in-law, he wants to see if she could paint a picture of Ray. I'd say that's pretty close there anyway. Uh, We're looks, getting there. It looks like Ray. I, I got, it's sort of impressionistic, but I can see it. Oh, she's painting me. This is always the danger when painting so, with Ella. So Kala, age seven, wants to know how old she is. So Ella here is 11 years old. She'll turn 12 years old this summer. And Nelson wants to know where'd you get her? Ella was actually born here at the Creation Museum. She was actually the first animal we had born here. So she was born at the Creation Museum. Yeah. There we are, a Creation Museum donkey. Old. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. And she's a miniature donkey, she's right? She's a miniature donkey, yep. Also known as a Mediterranean donkey. So if you've ever heard of a Mediterranean or a miniature donkey, same so, thing. So Christabel from Michigan thinks Ella is a great painter. Yes, I think she is too. Tony Seven wants to know how long her hair gets. Um, so right now Ella has her winter coat on. So you might notice she looks really shaggy. If you've ever visited the Creation Museum over the summer months, you might have seen Ella and her hair was a lot shorter. So she's gonna start shedding out her winter coat here over the next couple weeks. Um, and she'll have her summer coat, which is a lot shorter, but her bangs here, they're probably a good inch or two inches long right now. So what's the lifespan of a donkey? So donkeys are actually really long-lived animals. Um, typically a miniature donkey like this can live anywhere from 30, even up to 50 years. So for miniature donkeys like this, Anthony, age 11, wants to know, are there different breeds of this type of donkey? Um, so there's Donkeys come in um, different sizes. Um, so there's a miniature donkey, which is what Ella is. There's also a standard size donkey as well as a mammoth donkey. So, oh, good girl. didn't we have a mammoth donkey down in the zoo at one stage? Yes, we had mammoth donkeys down at the Ark uh, Encounter that did donkey rides a couple years ago. For the donkey ride a couple <laughs> years ago, okay. So we now have a camel ride yes, down there. Yes, we have there. camel rides now. So, Okay, you want to try it? Want Gabe, to Gabriel paper? 8 wants her to paint with green. Do you okay. have green? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna Gabriel. I'm going to papers here because she... You watch, we're going we're gonna to get the green paint. She's going to... How often do you have to trim their hooves, asks Alex 9. Um, so Ella here gets her hooves trimmed every seven to eight weeks. Um, just depends on the season, how active she is. So Ella here also is trained to um, pull a cart. So we will... Um, when it's warmer, we actually will take her out into the gardens um, and do cart rides with her yeah, as well. Yeah, I've, I've seen from my offices, looking outside my office yes. there, and seen Ella uh, bringing, you know, dragging so the cart around. So I think we're going to try to do a Facebook Live where we show you guys how um, we put her harness on and then give you guys a ride through the so, gardens. So Kinsey 11 would like to know how long it took her to paint. Um, so how long it took her to learn how to paint um, it was probably about two or three, three weeks by the time I, from the time that I started with her to the time that she painted for the first time. She's a very intelligent animal, so she picks up behaviors really quickly. Um, and here at um, the Creation Museum, as well as the Ark Encounter, we use what is called positive reinforcement with our animals. So um, we reward them when they do um, the behavior we're asking them to. And if they do something we don't want them to, we just ignore it. We don't punish them for it. Um, we just ignore it and then give them a couple seconds and then ask for the behavior that we wanted them to do to begin with. So we're going to do the green paint. We're going to do green now. Uh, so Timmy wants to know what Ella's favorite color is. So I think Ella's favorite color is probably pink. She, um, she's she not is, colorblind? Um, she doesn't see color. I mean, she doesn't see the range of colors we do. It's just, I think when we paint, she tends to go really crazy with the pink paint. And she does have her preferred paintbrushes, so we'll see how she does. This is not her normal preferred paintbrush, so. 
Ah, so she prefers certain paintbrushes. There's a certain thickness of paintbrush that she prefers. Has Ella got any brothers or sisters here? No, she doesn't. She doesn't? And one of the other questions was, are these native to anywhere? Well, these are sort of highly bred, aren't they? Yes, yeah, so this, um, donkeys are domesticated. Um, so you will find them in many countries. We actually do also have feral donkeys out in the Western United States as well. But yes, these guys are domesticated, so you'll find them pretty much all over the world. Um, donkeys are very versatile animals. As I said earlier, um, they're, they don't really eat um, a ton of hay or grain. So, um, Well, that's one of the questions here. Mason 10 says, what do donkeys eat? So Ella here, she gets hay and she also gets a teeny tiny little bit of oats every day. Um, she doesn't get much oats because as I said, she's constantly on a diet. Um, but that is what she eats every day. And then she also gets treats as well. Um, so she today has some apple slices that she's getting for painting. So Jonas and Tobin, 12 and 10, want to know, can she paint with yellow or yes. pink? Yellow or pink? One of the two? You're going to get green all over your nose. Yeah, we've got pink over here. Okay, you good? Okay, we got pink. We're going to see if we can get, get pink I've there. I've got pink and I've got yellow. How old is she? Josh, age 12, asked. So Ella is 11. She'll turn 12 years old this year. Now, Caitlin, who's 10, wants to know, can she do a hoof painting? Um, yes, yeah, she can do one. I'll just have to clean off her, her feet a little bit. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Just hang on, Caitlin. They're going to see if they can do a hoof painting, okay? Yeah, we're going to let her paint with pink, and so then we'll... We'll uh, paint with pink, and then see what we can do. And this is non-toxic yes. paint, it's special is paint, washable. It's, it's washable, doesn't hurt them in any way. So just think when you guys do art at home, that washable paint your mom has for you. Um, might have to try a different one. This one's not working. So how long are her ears? Tony Seven wants to know. Uh, so her, her ears are probably about a foot long. About a foot long. And I had one here from, uh, let me see, Anna, age six. When did she first paint? Oh, goodness. Um, Ella's been painting for a couple years now. I would say I, she's probably been painting about five years. Yeah, she doesn't need art lessons now. She's fully graduated. You yeah, can tell that. You can tell. Yeah. She basically is just saying, hey, put more paint on my brush. So are they kid friendly? Joe, age nine, asks. Uh, yes. Ella yeah. has been here in the zoo since she was a little full. Um, so she's she was used born to kids. Here. Used she's to used people. to kids. Um, just with any um, equine, though, you want to be careful um, because they do have... They do have some pretty sharp teeth, so obviously you don't want to stick your fingers in her mouth, but she does love getting her shoulder, her neck and shoulder petted. So, so. she's not mean, somebody no. asked. No, she's not mean. She's a good girl. So um, another question here from Alex, who's nine, was to know what's the stripe on her shoulder? So that is her dorsal stripe. Um, all donkeys have this dorsal stripe, just kind of like the zebra. If you've ever seen a zebra, they have stripes. But the zebras also have this um, very distinct dorsal stripe as well. You know, if you look over the back here, we have a zorse and a zonkey, and we've already talked about mm -hmm. those on one of these. Some of you may not have seen the zorse and the zonkey. Uh, but if you look at the donkey here, and we have a... Uh, now, the zorse is a cross between a zebra and a horse, yes. right? And the zonkey is a cross between... A zebra a, and a donkey. A zebra and a donkey. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at the donkey, Ella here... They're the same kind. Yep. So this is all part of the horse kind. All part of the horse kind. And that's really one of the purposes of the animals we have at the Cretia Museum and at the zoo is to teach people to understand about kinds. Yes, and we have signage out here in the zoos that explains that to our visitors, um, the different kinds. Um, and then we also like to do daily talks as well uh, where we talk about our animals and also the the kinds that they're parts of. So Alex Seven wants to know when their ears are back, are they not happy? So when her ears are back, um, she's focusing. Um, now if they lay their ears flat back against their heads and kind of tuck their tails a little bit, that's when, that's when you know that she's not happy about something. Right now she just really wants those treats, so she really wants to paint to get her treats. <laughs> so she's not painting because she's creative like we are. She's painting because there's food involved. <laughs> <laughs> so Isaiah 9 wants to know what her brothers and sisters' names are, but she doesn't have any brothers and sisters. She doesn't have sisters, any brothers and sisters. But she yeah. has some second and third and fourth cousins yeah, she's got some. Yeah, <laughs> she's got some uh, the, the family the over here. So yeah. Zoe and Cletus are her family members. 
So a couple of people said this is very special. So yes. It uh, is very special. Okay, now we got people. Uh, now we got Brian, who, <laughs> who wants to see him paint purple. Purple. Okay. She's a great impressionist, says Jonas, who's twelve. <laughs> she is. She's really good at impressionism. I don't know how much purple I have left. Um, so. Yes, yeah, she is the only miniature donkey we have here. Yes. Um, we have right now. We have five miniature donkeys at the Ark Encounter. Five as well. miniature donkeys at the Ark Encounter, but they don't paint like Ella. They does, don't right? paint like Ella. Ella's the painter. At least not yet. Haven't had time to train them yet. Okay, so now purple. Grab. Weren't we going to do yellow for one? Yes, of them? we were going to do yellow. We we're going to do yellow. Well, I may have to get a different sheet for the yellow though. And then we'll see about the hoof. And then we got to do the hoof print. Yeah, yeah we're going to do the hoof print. So wait for the hoof okay, print. Okay, let's do a little bit more purple. It looks like she painted a tulip. Someone said. It does. These are very these these are very spring like colors. <laughs> she gets very you excited know, when she's painting. So. I saw a painting once that once it looked like that, and underneath it said "man with cat." <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> does yes. it look like man with cat? I think I think she may be doing a painting of the gardens with the flowers coming oh, out. Yeah, look at that. The flowers coming out. It's a painting of spring. This is painting That's of spring. That's what Ella wanted to do. It's yeah. spring. Look, let's have a close up here. Here it is, the masterpiece. Look at that. <laughs> okay. So we will get another we'll get another sheet of paper here and we'll paint with some yellow and then we'll see if we can get her to do um, a hoof print for us too. Okay, so we're gonna paint with yellow and then a hoof print. Yes. All right. That'll be the the finale will be the hoof print. Yes. Can't wait. I've always wanted to see a donkey do a hoof print. <laughs> we say hoof in Australia. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. So Lake Age Six wants to know: Could Ella use yellow? And somebody else asked about yellow as well. So yellow yes. must be a popular. Color. We're going to do yellow. She must be one. So Sophia Nine wants to know if she's hosted an art exhibit of her paintings. <laughs> Um, she doesn't, she has an art exhibit in my house. Um, I've got several Ella paintings on my wall. Ah, and also some yeah. Gomer paintings. Um, Gomer's the camel. Gomer's the camel. Um, and some then, wallaby paintings. And then when some, when they visit the Creation Museum and you do these, sometimes you will give those away, yes. right? Yep. We'll give these out to kids sometimes. Give them out to kids. So they are, you have to come visit the Creation Museum once we're allowed to reopen. <laughs> Pray that God will do a miracle and get us reopened early. Okay, this is not one of Ella's favorite brushes, so we'll so see. So, what's how the difference goes. between a mule and a donkey? So, a mule is actually a hybrid between a horse and a donkey. So, a mule, the mother is a horse and the father is a donkey, so that makes a mule. A hinny is a cross between um, a horse and a donkey when the father is the horse and the mother is the donkey. So, if we were ever to breed Ella to a, a, a mini horse or a pony, her baby would be a henny. And once again, the hybridization demonstrates that they are all part of one biblical kind, just like our Zorsen donkey. And David in Australia wants to know what color her eyes are and do equines have different color eyes? Um, so typically horse eyes are going to be brown. Um, now you will sometimes have Appaloosas, Appaloosa horses um, that will have, a, have blue eyes, but generally their eyes are going to be brown. And there you are. I just thought of a great fundraising idea. For $1,000 <laughs> to donate to Answers in Genesis uh, to help us through this crisis we have uh, because we're not, not open to the public and aren't taking Beautiful. any income in from people coming, you can have one of Ella's paintings. There you are. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we will paint with uh, just send whatever it, you just want. Send it a thousand, just go to the donate page, $1,000, <laughs> say one of Ella's paintings. We'll send it to you. Okay. Okay, what do we want to do her, her hoof print in? Oh, ready? she's ready to go. You are ready to go. Yep. She's ready. Mm. Okay, okay, we're I've ready for the hoof. They've been asking for the hoof, the hoof paint. The okay, hoof I'm going to let Matthew do this because he's got more Can they have more, more than one baby at a time? Um, so typically these guys only have one baby. Um, it's pretty rare. Oh, we got wind. It's pretty rare um, with equine to have twins. Um, it does happen occasionally, but oftentimes... Um, then you have to hand raise one of the babies because the mom can't take care of both of them. Okay, so we're getting ready for the the hoof print. The finale. The finale. Sometimes when Ella paints, she does sign her work like this. 
step up. So sometimes she signs her work yeah, with a hoof. Yeah, sometimes she'll sign her work with a hoof print. And the paint's not toxic and they wash it yeah. off. And it's washable. It's washable so. and special for them. So Yes. All right. So if they were to lick it or anything, it's not going to hurt them at all. It's just like the finger paint you guys paint with at home. <laughs> He's trying to get her to stand on the other, the other foot. There you go. Matthew's showing off her, her new behavior of yep. stepping up here. Uh, He's been working with her on, on stepping up onto this platform. So you trained her to do that. Oh, oh yes. there, she left her hoof hey, print. Hey, she left her hoof print. Look, the there's platform. a hoof print. But she platform. didn't get it on the paper. On, on the, the platform. On the platform, right there. Okay. Step up. Step up. Come on, Ella, step up. She's a bit confused right Somebody <laughs> said the elephant at the zoo in Indy they saw several years mm -hmm. ago painting has the donkey beat. Oh. Well, that's an elephant that's painting. That's an elephant, though. Yeah, this that's is an a elephant, donkey painting. This is a donkey painting. Yeah, this is, she's the best donkey painter. <laughs> she's the best donkey painter there yep, is. In, in the whole of Northern Virginia. Good, Good girl! Way to go, Good Ella. Job. So donkeys are very intelligent animals, so they're, they're very trainable. Um, a lot of people think of donkeys as being stubborn. They're not really stubborn. They're just very intelligent and very smart animals. So they will evaluate a situation and figure out if they actually want to do that thing or not. So, so now we're going to see. Did she get a hoof print? Yeah, yep, it is. We do. A little yeah. hoof print. Okay. She tore that, the paper a little bit. That one's $1,100. Donate $1,100 <laughs> at this time uh, to help us through this crisis mode we're in. And you can get the one signed with a hoof. There you are. So what an offer. Yes. <laughs> And we do, um, sometimes we do these on canvas as well instead of paper. Um, today we just use paper so we could do multiple paintings, but we do, we do um, canvases as well. So a lot of our, um, our seasonal zoo employees, um, when they leave us for the, you know, if they work for, us for a summer or season, we'll do an animal painting for them before they leave. So. so a couple other questions and then we'll bring this to a finale here. Tyler said, how many paintings has she made? Oh goodness, Ella has probably made over a hundred paintings, I would say. Over a hundred, about a hundred paintings. Yeah. And some of them have been given away and some are in Leanne's house, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> framed. And these, look, we've got one, two, three, four, five here. See, um, if, you, uh, <laughs> if you go to our donate page and, <laughs> I wasn't gonna do this before. <laughs> For a thousand dollars, these are worth at least a thousand dollars, okay. All right, I'll reduce the price to 500. Okay, 500. Not for this one. The one with the hoof is a thousand. Yeah, that one's a thousand. Okay. Well, we've had fun being with you today, and uh, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Whatever it is, know. do you know what we're doing tomorrow? Uh, asking Maria a video. I don't know. We're doing something different we're every doing day. We're doing tomorrow. Three o'clock Mondays to Fridays, and we're also going to have um, something different on uh, the weekends, Saturday mm -hmm. and Sunday. But the animals are Monday to Friday, and yes. I'll do something stupid on Saturdays <laughs> and Sundays uh, at 3 o'clock uh, for the kids. Uh, so there we are. So, okay, you Ella, we're going to see you say goodbye, Ella. Yeah, Ella, you're going to say okay. goodbye? So we're at the Creation Museum at our uh, animal encounter area here, and uh, we've got lots more that we can do over the, the next, looks like it's going to be till the end of April by the sound of it. Yeah. So uh, we just kind of have to... We won't have to go find some, maybe we can pull some fish up out of the lake too and talk. No, we won't do that. No, we still got <laughs> we lots could. of things we can do. Leanne and her staff have lots of things that they can uh, show you. So you're going to learn all about these animals before you come yep. here and visit. So Leanne, Matt, thanks a lot. You're welcome. And uh, thanks, Ella. Oh, look, she wants to paint again. She wants to paint some more. There we are. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow.